Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to code a uh, Minecraft client for the latest version of Minecraft. So some prerequisites you're going to need are um, Java version 17, um, your ID of choice, I'll be using Eclipse, and then the fabric example mod that I'll be going right into. Okay, so first you're just gonna go to this link. I'll have all the links in the description. So download all of this. And then, so then we're just going to make a new folder and I'll just call it tutorial client. Another prerequisite you're gonna need is Java knowledge, because if you don't know Java, then this is gonna be very difficult. Okay, so we're gonna need a workspace folder. This is just for Eclipse, by the way. For IntelliJ, it, it should be different. And then we'll just name this to So then I'm going to get all of this and extract it into there. So everything should be good here. And then we're going to open a command prompt in this directory on Windows. Uh, you can just go into the little search bar thing and then type CMD. Okay, and then we're going to type Gradle Eclipse. Gen sources. So what this is going to do is it's basically just going to configure all the Eclipse stuff and then generate the Minecraft sources. If you get stuck on this step, you either need to go to environment variables and make a Java home and set it to um, the JDK 17 or um, you need to run Minecraft 1.18.2 or whatever version you're doing once Just by launching the game on a new installation of it Just like that <laughs> So then we're gonna wait for this to finish Okay, so this finished in about two minutes. It could take longer depending on your hard drive or SSD speed. Okay, then we're going to launch Eclipse. I have the dev style plugin, so it just shows this custom launcher. So then we're going to click add an existing or create a new workspace. Browse. Okay, and then navigate to your folder where you stored this. Um, this is just in the tutorial client folder, and then I'll go to workspace and make that the workspace. If this pops up, uh, just click fix automatically. Okay, now clip should be up. Uh, get this welcome screen, you can just close it. Then you go to import projects, general, existing projects into workspace. Now click browse, and then go back to tutorial client, then click on this folder where you stored all of the source files, select folder, finish. Okay, and now it should have imported everything in, and you'll see you have all of the source files that were in the uh, example mod. Okay, just to test if this works, you can go to the debug icon, debug configurations, Open Java application and click Tutorial Client Client and set that as the default debug thing and then just debug it. And then it should launch Minecraft. So as you can see it's got the uh, tutorial stuff from Fabric and it's launching Minecraft. Okay. Um, also in Eclipse, if you want to clean this up, you can make the package presentation hierarchical, so it's nice and displayed like that. 
Okay, so now what we're gonna want to do is just a new package. I'll call this one big sample client. Okay, then we're gonna make a new class. We'll call it client for convenience sake. Okay, then you're gonna want to type right here implement uh, mod initializer. Import that from netfabric mc.api and then we'll need to add the unimplemented methods on initialize so we can just do a um, quickly I'm going to set up a logger a logger is just a thing to help print stuff to the console in a convenient manner so public logger logger equals log manager dot get logger and then we can just do client.class. And then this shortcut I'm gonna use is just Control Shift O. It's a shortcut in Eclipse that just imports stuff. So and then we're going to want org uh, Apache logging log4j logger. We can just do logger.log. Uh, we don't need all this garbage. Uh, <laughs> hello world. It's a simple uh, logger.info. There we go. That's what we want. Okay, and we also do not need this mix in stuff. We don't need any of this actually. Okay, so. Once you've deleted that, you can, we're going to need to go to source main resources fabric.mod.json. Don't rename this file because it needs to be this name. Okay, and then for mod ID, I'm just going to do example client. I know it's probably hard to see this weird JSON stuff, but okay, version, you don't need to mess with that. Um, example or name example mod. I'll just change that to example client description. A tutorial mod for YouTube authors. Bad games Inc. <laughs> Homepage. Um, Okay, and then I'm not gonna mess with license. So for icon, we're going to do assets and then example client. I'm just gonna copy this because we're gonna paste it wherever we see mod ID. And right here, this needs to be the exact package name of this file that implements mod initializer. For me, it's just example client dot client. So package name, then the class. Okay, for mixins, we're going to do example client dot mixins dot json. Example client dot mixins dot json. Okay, and then we're gonna rename this. Refactor rename. Okay. And then refactor rename assets.example client. Then in here, need to change this. We'll quickly make a new mixins package. Okay, so example client mixins. And we don't have any mixins yet, so none. Okay, and just to test to make sure everything still works. Okay, so Minecraft still initializes correctly. 
if we look in the console, we can see Hello World that uh, we printed out there. So this is just how you make the uh, like foundation of the client, like setting up the mod. In the next video, I'll get into making the base of the mod system and keybinds and stuff like that. Alright, see you guys in the next one.